Christian Greco. Uh, we are here right now at the Egyptian Museum after the world premiere of uh, the mu movie The Immortals, The Wonders, The Wonder of the Egyptian Museum. Congratulations for the premiere. You are the director of the Egyptian, National Egyptian Museum here in Turin. And uh, we are, the screening was part of the Turin International Film Festival. At the same time, you received also um, a medal, and you are now the citizen of the year of Turin. Congratulations. Thank you. For, Thank you. I would like to know, um, so we got so many information, so many facts. I, um, I'm a big fan of Egypt, of Egyptology. And I understood at the beginning there was something called Egyptomania, then the Egyptology came. And um, then we spoke about, we heard, so Jeremy Iron was the one who were presenting. He was taking us through the museum in Turin and explaining and actually giving us um, the feeling how the Egyptians were living and why Turin became actually the first museum of Egyptology in the world. How did this whole idea um, start? It? I know that 3D uh, Produzioni, the so productions, were the one who came up with the idea, and then they came up to you. Yes. Did you develop everything together? How did it go? Well, it went very. They came up with the idea. I had myself seen the uh, movie about uh, the other museums. I was. Uh, I, I saw the movie of Prado, for instance. So they came up to say. Would you be interested? And then we started developing the narrative in saying, well, that would be great. Uh, and so they came to uh, an activity that I do uh, once a month, which is walking with the director. So once a month, after closing times, I, for two hours, I choose every time some different galleries and I have visitors and we go through the objects of the gallery. So from there, that was the first core in starting writing down how the movie would look like and then it started a dialogue back and forth when we came up with the idea actually what do we miss here in Turin the most? We miss Egypt, we miss the landscape, which we miss the context and so the idea was well going to Egypt and seeing the sites, going around the Medina so and then we decided that Chaim Merit would be the center because it's, it's this beautiful uh, great goods that we have from the New Kingdom of uh, the Emir Kauf Nezut, responsible for the works of the Pharaoh and his wife. And so, in going through the objects of the tomb, it uh, was a way to talk about their life, and to talk about their life we needed to go back to the Medina, and so also to talk about how the museum, through archaeological excavation in Egypt at the beginning of the 20th century, was formed. So I actually wanted very much to build up the, the, the link with Egypt, to, to show that we are part. I always say I would like to be the house of all Egyptians, the biggest embassy outside of Egypt. So, And I also like that there is, the, there is this dialogue with my colleagues from all the, uh, um, who are starting from the director of the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, the other museums uh, in Europe, so um, to show how we are. Uh, all a family, and you know, we all work in trying to reconstruct things. And then we see also your cur curators, yes. they're from all over the world. I think you have also two German curators, yeah. one uh, Brit also. Yes. And there's a scene, amazing scene, when he's actually explaining uh, how they live, they love to each other, and he have, he's having the hieroglyphs, yeah? Yes. And then he's having his, his love and asking, yeah, so it was that, amazing. Yeah, that, well, that's Marcel Marais, he's a curator of the British Museum, and mm -hmm. he, uh, he's, he's a great philologist and epigraphist, and he was reading a text, it was really amazing, yes. Um, do you um, know uh, when the gem is going to open? Do you have any information? Uh, it's going to be the I biggest heard, museum. I think it should be uh, late winter or early spring. So I think we are just about that. So. Um, while gem is going to be the biggest one in the world for Egyptology, you are the oldest museum yes. for Egyptology. But you started in 1824. Yes. Can you tell me about the history and... Um, how this is all started, I think, also with Bonaparte, 
Uh, no, it, uh, our history is complex, so we can say that the first object arrived here in 1626 is the Mensaisiaca, which is an is a Egyptianizing object, was an altar of, um, uh, in a temple devoted to Isis, was probably produced in Campania or in Latium. And that object arrived already in the 17th century. In order to understand and to explain that object, Vitaliano Donati was sent to Egypt in 1759 and he brought back some monumental statues, the Isis of Coptos, which we see also in the movie, a beautiful statue of Ramses II, a Sekhmet, a lioness goddess, and um, 600 uh, smaller objects. And that's the core of our collection. From that onwards, in um, 1824, a collection which was collected by Bernardino Drovetti, who was Consul General of Egypt, uh, in the, 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 the period that we, care, we call the era of the Consul, so after the expedition of Napoleon, the diplomats living in Egypt were collecting antiquities and selling them uh, in Europe. One of them was Drovetti, and the first Drovetti collection arrived here in 1820. And you paid uh, 400 sand. They not you, but uh, you, yeah. Well, but the king of Sardinia, because at that time Italy was three quarters of his uh, financial budget. Of his yeah. budget, it's yes. uh, it's amazing. How much would it be in our days uh, if we convert? I cannot even, I cannot even calculate mm -hmm. because our finances nowadays are much more complex than at that time. Coming to my last question, and the most important one, you are celebrating next year the 200 years anniversary of yes. the museum. What are you planning? We are planning a lot of things and we already started. First, the most important is a, a series of lectures which we call What is a Museum? So the directors of the most important uh, world museums are coming here to think about what is a museum, it's a place of construction, it's a place of destruction, and do we have a future, uh, are we important for next generations, uh, how do we deal with materiality and immateriality, first part. Second part, we are uh, opening a series of new permanent galleries. The first one will open on the 21st of December. I think also free of charge some of them. Uh, yes, I will come there to that yeah. later. On the 21st of December, um, we will open a 600 square meters new uh, gallery devoted to writing. It will be a museum in a museum, going from the very first attestation of writing to the late period. Then we will open in May the so called invisible archaeology, which means all research applied to uh, uh, the materiality. How can we explain and understand material culture in the past? And then we will do last but not least, we will cover the courtyard. So we have an inner courtyard which will be covered. It will be become an interna plaza. Uh, well, a new plaza. We have here Piazza Carignano. We have on the other side uh, Piazza San Carlo and we will have this Egyptian plaza. Where, what, is, what do we want to achieve with that? Well, first of all, we want to open to the public the Temple of Elysi, a temple donated by uh, the President Gamal Abdel Nasser in 1966 to Italy, not to the Museo Egizio. And now to see it, you have to go through the museum and to pay a ticket, but then it will be open to everybody for free. Fantastic. So it's a restitution to all those who will be in Turin. Then we have been reflecting a lot. What do we miss to 100 years after the foundation of the museum? We miss Egypt. And how do we bring Egypt back? Well, in two ways. We are building an Egyptian garden. So this garden how will beautiful. be imitating what is the, uh, decorated on the walls of the tombs of the New Kingdom. So Egyptian flora will be here. The Egyptian flora will be interconnected with the digital restitution landscape. So we are uh, sending now people to Egypt to film the landscape where the objects come from so that we can exhibit the objects with the landscape. The so it's going to be also, you're going to use, explore the new technologies? Yes, yes. What so about NFT and uh, virtual uh, reality? Uh, no, uh, we will work on, uh, on, on uh, virtual reality and we want to do it universal so we, don't, we will not have oculus or devices because we want to offer it for free for a large number of people and to see also the importance of 
object inserted in the landscape. So it's going to be more like a domus, like a theater. Uh, with yes, it's, it's going to be, well, it's an immersive room. Yes, uh, yeah. this is the other po yeah. possibility. And so, actually, at the end, we will have this Egyptian plaza, where there will be, so you can come inside for free, there will be a bookshop under our porticos, uh, you, uh, you will have a cafeteria, you will be able to go inside the Temple of Elysium and you will have a staircase going down, and down you will have this Egyptian garden with real plants, then going into the uh, digital. This is going to be permanent? or yeah, this is going to be permanent, and these two levels on the ground floor and, uh, and downstairs is going to be free. You should invite also the new Minister of uh, Tourism will. Antiquities, Ahmed Issa. I, I was uh, uh, last week, um, um, had a nice talk with His Excellency the Ambassador of Egypt in Rome, and so uh, as soon as we have the date, and we know Egypt will be, of course, the most important guest, because we cannot celebrate the Bicentennial without Egypt. Very good idea. I can put you in touch with him also. Um, have his WhatsApp, but what I'm looking forward also, I wanted to see. I want to see uh, the colossal uh, statue of Set. Yes, this you, is. You, we can go. You, I can show you. Are you really yes. sure? Yes. So, thank you very much. You're welcome.